Hi y'all, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm making brownies, homemade brownies, and I'm going to cook them in the um, Pampered Chef brownie pan, which you'll see in just a minute. But um, this is our last day of the Pampered Chef event that we've been doing for the last week. And so I know y'all are probably tired of hearing about it, but you have about four and a half more hours to get um, to get your orders in and be able to get a 25% discount. After that, you can still place orders, but uh, you won't get the discount. Uh, you can just go to Pampered Chef and, and uh, Marion can help you with those orders. But uh, I know you wanna get that discount, so get out there and check it out. This is um, the brownie mix. I'm, I'm, I'm actually making it from scratch. So lots of time, I know it's a lot easier just do a, a box of brownie mix, but sometimes, you know, you may decide, hey, I would love some brownies tonight, but you don't have any brownie mix in your pantry. Well, these ingredients that I'm gonna show you today are probably things that you do have in your pantry, and you'll be able to pull them out and just whip up a batch of delicious brownies really quickly, and your family will love you for that. So um, I'm starting off with one and a fourth cups of self-rising flour. And even though it's self-rising, I'm gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of salt in with that, uh, just because I think it'll help make it that much more flavorful. We are adding in two thirds of a cup of cocoa. This is just the regular, you know, Hershey's cocoa. It's going in here. I'm just putting all the dry ingredients together first. And of course I'm using my Pampered Chef batter bowl. And then we're going to put in two cups of sugar, just regular granulated sugar. So, just getting that all stirred up. And this is probably what's in that box of brownie mix that you buy, is just these uh, three or four ingredients here. So, um, why not just do it yourself, right? So, got that mixed up. Now we're going to start adding in the wet ingredients, which is three eggs that I've already cracked. You know, I crack them in a separate bowl, put them into this bowl one at a time. So here's three eggs, and I'm going to stir them up a little bit first before I put them in here just to get it mixed up pretty good like that. And then just pour them right into the, that. And we'll mix it up a little bit. And then I'm going to gradually pour in, uh, this is two sticks or one cup of melted butter. And I'm just going to throw it in gradually because I don't want to cook those eggs and it's still a little bit warm. Now I got a new phone today, so hopefully you're all able to hear me really good. If not, I also bought some of those AirPods, so I'm going to try those next time. I just had not had a chance to get them charged yet. So, I'm trying my best to make it where everybody who wants to hear me can hear me. So, let me stir this up really good first before I add the rest of that. It's getting thick, and it's looking pretty much like... Uh, brownie mix. Alright, it's got that all in there. Might have stirred easier if I'd used a spoon instead of this spatula. It's a little bit wiggly. trying to make sure everything that's down the bottom of this bowl gets wet. Alright, looks like it's getting there. All right, then I'm going to stir in one teaspoon of vanilla. I 
always makes everything taste really good. Now you could stop here and just have the plain brownies like this, or you could add in a cup of nuts, or you could add in some extra chocolate chips, or whatever you want. Maybe some marshmallows, tiny marshmallows, and make you some Rocky Road brownies. Um, anyhow, I've got this all stirred, and you can see it looks just like brownie mix, you know, like you buy in the box. So I'm gonna stop this, because I'm gonna go chop up some nuts, because Bob said he wanted pecans in this, and I haven't chopped those up yet. So I'll get those stirred in, and then I'll dip it up into the brownie pan. I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, we're back. I'm um, starting to fill these. I've stirred in the cup of nuts. I just used pecans that are broken to pieces. Now I'm using this um, medium-sized scooper, and it is just enough to go in each one of these. So I think this is going to be enough batter to make um, more than one pan of these. I don't want to overfill them because I don't want any chance of them overflowing and making a mess. So I've still got probably about a third of the batter left in here, but these are ready to go right on in the oven. And you can see they're just in there like that. So the oven is ready, so I'm going to stick these in. And I think they're going to cook. They're going to cook for about 30 minutes. Um, uh, the recipe said 30 to 40 minutes, but that was if we're cook, cooking them in a big sheet pan. So I think with these little individual pans like that, the heat will get around them more and they'll cook quicker. So I'll keep an eye on them and I'll get right back with y'all. Hey y'all, with that um, extra dough that was left, I got out my little tiny scooper and I was able to bake like 12 more of these little um, little two bite brownies. And there, I just put them in a mini muffin tin. Um, so I think that's gonna be the perfect size to have like little round ones for me to snack on while Bob eats those larger ones. Anyhow, I'm gonna get these in the oven and I'll get back with y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back. I've gotten them out of the oven. They cooked for about 25 minutes. Um, look, this is one of the larger ones, and it's got a crust all the way around. It's taken them a little bit longer to cool in the pan, so I was able to get this one out because it's cooled enough. But I was able to go ahead and get all the little tiny ones out, and don't those look cute? These are my little two-bite brownies, which I'm probably gonna hide those for me. Anyhow, we're about to have some leftover spaghetti, eat some brownies for dessert, and uh, I probably won't be posting a video tomorrow because my church is having a ladies' retreat uh, starting tomorrow afternoon, and I'm so looking forward to that. We're going to be doing our social distancing like we should and, um, and just listening for the Lord to speak to all of us, and, and I think it's just going to be a wonderful time of fellowship and uh, and praising his name. So uh, I hope that you have a blessed evening. I hope you've got, let's see, I think you've got maybe four hours left, uh, three and a half to four hours left to get your orders in. Um, again, these pans work great. I uh, hope you uh, have found some other tools on there that you'd like to have. And um, I promise you on, um, let's see, I won't be back on here till probably Sunday afternoon um, because like I said, we're going to be at that retreat, and it's a two-day retreat. So, um, anyhow, y'all have a wonderful evening, and I will see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.